So as somebody who I'm sure writes a lot of prescriptions for oxygen therapy, what do you think people should most understand about their new oxygen prescription? Absolutely. So as we think about oxygen prescriptions, it has three components to it. The first is um, whether or not you need to be using oxygen all the time or only with uh, activity or only with sleep. So so-called, so you know, the situation in which you should be using the oxygen. You and your doctor need to understand and figure out when do you need oxygen. So that's a critical part of your oxygen prescription. The second part of the oxygen prescription is how much oxygen do you need? And do you need it continuously? Meaning that the oxygen comes out of, let's say an oxygen tank continuously, or uh, is it okay if the oxygen is coming intermittently only when you take a breath, for example? So how much oxygen is coming out and is it continuous or is it, if you will, um, only when you take a breath? And the third piece of the oxygen prescription is what is the oxygen equipment do you need? You know, do you need it coming out of, let's say, a portable oxygen concentrator, or do you want it coming out of a stationary oxygen concentrator, or um, do you want it um, coming from an oxygen tank? So there's really three components of it. Uh, what is this? What are the conditions under which you should be using oxygen? How much oxygen uh, do you need? And what piece of equipment is the right piece of equipment for you?